Today on The Edge of Edge, I'm gonna to talk to you about why every carnivore is gonna want you at their barbecue. I don't know where this notion came from that vegans cannot operate a barbecue. It's just another device to cook on. Stop the discrimination. Invite vegans to your barbecue. There's a common belief that when you take out the meat, you're left with just side dishes. I have no desire to eat salad as I drink my beer. That's about as flattering as asking me to graze your lawn. I'm not a side dish. There's more to me than salad. Raining salad. So the truth is, things like veggie burgers, grilled seitan, and portobello mushrooms are a great way to enjoy those grill bars. So embrace the vegetables. Make them your friend. So there's a whack load of unprocessed proteins that you can use. My favorite is seitan. No, not the dark lord of the underworld. This, it's called wheat meat. It's high in protein as well as calcium. So your second option is tempeh, which is a slightly fermented soy product. It has a bit of a nuttier flavor and it's a, it's a little harder than the seitan is. And the great thing about them is that they're easily prepared and they take the flavor of anything that you cook them with. So my favorite marinade is a pork chop marinade that my dad used to use. And it has some fennel in there for a nice, sweet flavor. It has some cumin for some smoky flavors, as well as garlic and paprika. So you want to mix all of those together with a mortar and pestle, just like I'm doing here. The great thing about this recipe is that you don't really have to measure anything, and you can throw it all into a plastic bag. So once you have your spices all mortar and pestle, you want to put them into the bag and start to add your other favorite ingredients. I like to use Sprague's, which is an all-purpose seasoning. It's a nice alternative to soy sauce. I also like to put some balsamic vinaigrette, some maple syrup for sweetness, and this is my secret ingredient, an orange. And there's your marinade. You just want to throw your meat in there. Now I'm just going to chop up the tempeh. You want to marinate those for a minimum of about an hour. Throw it on there like you would normally. And as you're cooking them, be sure to always brush them with more of the marinade. This smells so good. Let's give them some time to cook. So about halfway through, just flip them all. Oh, those grill marks look so good. So there you have it, the perfect vegan barbecue. People won't have to be petrified to have you there. So let us unite as vegans and demand to be invited to those barbecues. I'm Candace, the Edgy Veg, and I wanna know what your favorite meatless item is to bring to a barbecue. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and to subscribe to Coral up there. Happy barbecuing. Bye! <laughs>